So this is a really interesting read for a number of reasons. The first is that it's um, a prospective randomized study. So it's high quality data and it's published in um, the New England Journal of Medicine, which is probably the preeminent medical journal in the world. Um, the, uh, the third uh, important factor is that it um, reports patients referred into the Veterans Administration uh, uh, gastroenterology clinic. So it's, it's high quality specialist service. Um, and what they, they did essentially is they, um, they took patients, a group of patients who were referred in with classical heartburn regurgitation dyspeptic symptoms of reflux. And um, they, uh, they then um, treated them with standard doses of antacids or whatever uh, they considered to be the best treatment. And that those that then failed uh, were then investigated and randomized to one of three arms. Either they were um, offered maximal optimized medical treatment, which include the addition of other drugs, Secondly, they were offered continued omeprazole, but plus a placebo. Uh, or thirdly, they were offered surgery. Um, uh, and in this case, that was fundoplication operations. So the results were really fascinating for a number of reasons. The first is that of well over 300 patients entered into the trial at the first place, actually, I think it was 78, ended up being randomized. And I think what this demonstrates is that the, um, the assessment and treatment of patients with reflux in specialised units is incredibly important because a lot of those patients came in with symptoms which had been treated in primary care and clearly they hadn't been optimally assessed or treated. Um, and so uh, I think that's a first really important point. Um, the second uh, really important point is that um, the outcomes at a year were quite clear in so far as those having surgery tended to do very much better than those who didn't. So that probably more than, I think it was 67 patients, 67% 67 of patients who were offered surgery had significant improvements in their symptoms, whereas only just over a quarter of those who had medication uh, uh, found similar benefit. So there was a clear advantage in favour of, of, of surgery. Um, uh, I, I think the downside of the, um, uh, of the report is that it didn't actually describe the, the side effects which are known to accompany uh, surgery. So we know from previous studies, all previous studies have shown that, uh, for instance, persistent swallowing difficulties and particularly bloating symptoms tend to occur in patients who have had fundoplication. And this can um, diminish uh, the benefits of of resolution of the heartburn symptoms in those patients. And this wasn't really reported. So I think um, we know from uh, comparative studies between links and fundoplication that resolution of heartburn symptoms is, a, is equivalent between the two, but that the side effects which tend to accompany fundoplication don't tend to occur in those patients undergoing links. So I think at, at the end of the day, this is another powerful randomized study confirming that in the right patients, uh, surgery tends to be better uh, than, um, than pills.